Hi everybody, how are you doing? Are you interested in how to speak English well? Or um, do you want to enjoy uh, watching do you want to enjoy watching American TV show American movies without uh, subtitles? If you like both of them, I would recommend you to do shadowing because shadowing uh, I think shadowing would, uh, shadowing would make you improve your hearing ability also uh, how to speak English well. Because I did it, then I can speak English like, that, like this. So, why don't you try to do that? If you are interested in how to do it, I'm glad to show you about it. So, let me uh, show you about it. Let's get started like this. All right, All right everyone, we join your festivities. Well, we have the time to for the very special guest now. Here he is, the Santa. To the center, Merry Christmas, everyone. This is the season of the joy and the giving. But that was not so forget. Unfortunately, it's a season for the accident caused by drunk driving. Uh, do you know that the holidays are the most of the eyes and the drinking rate accident occur? It's like a little great regard over the warming of all skills. Please, this should be related to season responsibility because the last last golden season, the, the, the most about driving accident every uh, dragon have fun here, Santa. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, Santa is saying that the drinking, driving is the very holding. Okay, thank you, Santa. This is wonderful and fun with it. Thank you for coming, everyone. We hope you had a lovely one. They enjoyed all your favorite holiday traditions. Hi, shadowing なんですけども、あのまあどんなえっとなんですかね。英語のを作りたいっていうので僕は始めたんですけど実際にえー、っとまあ英語のなんで作りたいかって言ったら暗記してるだけを一生懸命繰り返してもあの対応できなかったんですね、えー、なんとなく自分では喋れると思ってましたけどその言葉の種類が全然あの持ってないんで話せなかったのとあと一番大きな点は聞けないんですねネイティブスピーカーが早すぎちゃって。でこれ何とかしたいと思って英語をまあ勉強したりしなかったですけど25年間ぐらいやっててで最後に、えー、分かったのはあ話せれば相手の言ってることが聞き取れるんだって分かったんですねで、えー、とまずじゃあそれにしはどうしなきゃいけないかって言ったら英語はねちゃんと発音が良くしないとできなかったんですけどもその発音もどうしたらいいのか分かりましたで具体的に言うと英語のあの単語ありますよねその中の「シーンの音がはっきり出せないと、えー、単語ってあんまりちゃんと話せないんですよ。で「シーンの音」は英語の「シーンの音」はどうやって出すかって言ったら僕らが「はー」って息を出す時に、えー、と口の中で、えー、ドームを作ったりそれからあとは下,あ下ベロね下ベロで、えー、と塞いだりとかドームを,を口の中で作ったりとか唇をすぼめたりして、えー、簡単に言うとあの。出るね息を出る音を邪魔した時に出る音が英語のシーンの音なんですねですので、えー、その作り方を覚えてくださいで具体的にはえー、っと肺にたくさん空気が入るように肋骨の筋肉横隔膜を横隔膜の筋肉を緩めてもらってで肺に空気が入るようになったら今度はお腹深部の腹横筋という筋肉を鍛えてこの強く息を出す練習してくださいでそうすると口の中でそのアルファベットの音を作る時の邪魔することをしてもこれが正しい音で出るようになりますで、えー、シーンの作り方は、まあ、インターネットでたくさんそのやり方が載ってると思いますんで、えー、一緒にやってみてください、えー、主にあの例えば R の発音でしびろを塞いだりとかそれから TH のサウンドで、うん、舌を少し歯につけるとか唇につけてくださいね「With you」とか「Thank you」とか「you とかこういう音ですねあと他にも W の音とか H の音とかも、えー、喉の奥の方で音を作ってきます。ねえー、これが分かれば、えー、と C の音が完成しますんで英語の単語が、えー、ちゃんと話せると思います。そし,そしたら今度はシャドウイング、えー、自分が、えー、と僕のおすすめは英語の、えー、アニメーションですね、えー。字幕スーパーがついてて日本語もついてるやつがおすすめです。ネットフリックスであの、えー、有料で買ってもらえば自分で見ることが可能です。ね、英語の、えー、字幕スーパーで見た英語の単語。英語のあ、えー、と書いてあるフレーズですねそれから下のフレーズ日本語、まあ、下かどうかわかんないですけど日本語のフレーズがあってそれを見比べて理解してください
、ね、それを繰り返すことによって脳の中に英語を、えー、理解できる、えー、人の部分が出てきててで今度それを使うと自分が、えー話したいときに話せるようになります。For example, if I like to talk about how to build an English brain, I don't think anything. I, I don't think anything at all because I already have an English brain and also I have so many words and phrases about that. So that's why I can speak English like this without thinking. で、このように何も考えないで英語がペラペラスラスラ話せるようになってくると思っています。ね。で、あなたも手順を間違えなければちゃんと英語が話せると思いますので。頑張ってみてくださいね。それでは。One of those times of year when school and fun just naturally come together. This year seemed like it would be the same. Decorations were up all over. Some people were already wearing their costumes. And the smell of candy was in the air. <laughs> all of us were really looking forward to Halloween. Well, actually, all of us except Spinelli. Hey, where is Spinelli anyway? Probably late making a big ol' batch of fake blood. She'll catch up to us. I was wrong. Spinelli wouldn't catch up to us, because that morning she changed in a way none of us expected. But hang on, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Fact is, we've seen a whole lot of changes lately, and it all started over a month ago. It was the first day of school, and guess what? Me and the guys weren't fourth graders anymore. Finally, we moved on up to fifth grade. Well, guys, here she is. Good old Third Street School. You know, Teach, the old place really does grow on you. And Mother Nature has prepared an idyllic day for our return. Yeah, check it out. Birds are chirping, grass is green, and the place is just crawling with suckers to beat a kickball. That's the spirit, Vince. And remember, school's gonna be its rockin'est yet, because this year we're fifth graders. Fifth graders get their old lockers. I can finally keep my invention safe from foreign spies. I can actually be second in line to slide down... Oh, baby, just you wait till recess. I can hardly wait for the lunch in the cafeteria. My fifth grade taste buds are much more sophisticated, you know. As for me, well, believe it or not, I actually look forward to being in class. What the? I know, Spinelli. It sounds crazy. But don't forget, this year we have Miss Milky. Oh, man, I love Miss Milky. Everyone loves Miss Milky, Vince, because she loves us kids. I'm telling you, fifth grade is going to be the best year yet. All right, Hooligan, settle down. My name is Miss Finster, and I'm your fifth grade teacher. <laughs> What's your problem? You got something in your eye? Go to the nurse and get it fixed. Uh, Miss Finster? What is it, Deadweiler? What happened to Miss Milky? You were kind of expecting her to be our teacher. Milky transferred out. Luckily for you, I was available to take her place. Randall? Yes, Miss Finster? I'll need a class informant. You're it. Oh boy, Miss Finster. Fifth grade is gonna be the best grade ever. Of course it will, because it'll have discipline, homework, tests, and more discipline. All right, now, take out your pencils. I want a 3,000 word essay on what you hooligans did during the summer and how you were punished for doing it. Well, that was the most wompingly awful experience of all time. Okay, so having Finster for a teacher is a setback. But I got a feeling I can break her down. I 
can't believe she gave us six textbooks. Who needs six textbooks? Books heavy must put down. Well, I think this is an excellent opportunity to utilize our new lockers. They ought to be right over... Dad, the lockers! They're gone! What happened to them? Hello, fifth grade chums. If you were looking for the lockers, they were all replaced by these inspirational posters. I especially like this one. But what are we supposed to do with all our stuff? Can't hold on! Ah, ah, ah. School is for learning, not complaining. Ta-ta! Okay, so we don't get lockers, and we got Finster as our teacher. Big deal. There's still lots of other great stuff about school, right? How very true, TJ. For instance, carrying these textbooks has given me quite an appetite. There you go, Mikey. Who's up for lunch in the cafeteria? Now you're talking. As I recall, on the first day of school, they usually serve pizza. Yay! I love pizza. pizza. Tender. Um, this doesn't look like pizza. For the love of butter, what is it? It's nutrition paste. All part of the new and improved cafeteria menu. Do you mean to tell me that instead of tasty, kid-friendly entrees, we're now going to be served nutrition paste every day? Of course not. On Tuesday, we got nutrition log. On Wednesday, we got nutrition lumps. On Thursday, we got nutrition loaf. And on Friday, we got zesty macaroni and nutrition. Bon appetit. All right, so they took away our teacher, they took away our lockers, and they took away our lunch. At least we still got recess. Kid, district orders. I can't believe this. They took away the whole playground. Why would they do that? Are they mad? Oh, never again to roll about in the fresh green clover or to make necklaces of dandelions or hats of mud. They haven't just taken our playground, they've taken our childhood. And now they've gone too far. Attention, Attention students. students. Differently speaking, uh, you may have noticed a few changes today, and these are nothing to be concerned about. They're all part of the Board of Education's new school improvement policy. So I hope you'll all enjoy your new improvement. TJ, what are you doing in my office? I'm here for answers, sir. But I'm in the middle of addressing the student. I suggest you sign off, because the way I'm feeling, I might just say something that couldn't hear. Um, just go back to your fun. All right, TJ, I understand you're upset. Upset? Sir, with all due respect, you've ruined our school! Now, don't go blaming me, TJ. Idea. And besides, no one's ruining school. The Board of Education a few changes is all. They well, the board feels that maintaining a field of grass and play equipment diverts money that can better be used elsewhere. Like for these nifty... ...for instance. Less play, more studying. What? She sounds like a very nice lady. What about the... Board of Ed feels that inspirational posters are a more meaningful use of wall space. And the more time spent holding your books, the better. And that gray gunk they're serving at lunch? Nutrition paste contains all the vitamins children need for maximum learning potential. The data's all here in the improvement plan. But, sir, I thought you remembered what it was like to be a kid. And to kids, all this stuff is just crummy. Look, TJ, to be honest with you, I'm not so sure about this whole plan myself. But the board has ordered it. There's nothing I can do. You can say no. I can't go against the Board of Education. I'll lose my Just replace me with someone who will go along with them. But, Principal Brickley... Listen, TJ, there's something you have to understand. I know I seem like the big boss around here, but compared to the board, I'm just a little guy. And there are times when a little guy can't change the way things are done. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I think I do. Thank you. So what Brickley say? He says there are times when the little guy just has to accept the way things are. You mean school's gonna be like this forever? Oh, I didn't say that, Gus. I didn't say that at all. Come on down and eat your toast. It's getting cold. Don't waste your He's not coming down. Not coming down? Well, what's the matter? Is he sick? He's always been sick. That's the slander, Becky. Hey, I don't know. All he told me was that he wasn't coming down, and that was good enough for me. You better see what's going on, dear. I better see what's going on. <laughs> TJ? Hi, Mom. TJ, it's time to come down now. Honey.
honey, your door's locked. It's not just locked, Mom. It's barricaded. Barricaded? But honey, why? And how will you get to school? That won't be a problem, Mom. Because as of this morning, I'm never going back to school again. Hi, Dweebs. Uh, hi, Becky. Is TJ ready for school? Nope. Not by a long shot. What do you mean? Oh, he's just locked himself in his room, barricaded the door, and claims he's never coming out. Typical freak behavior. Now, excuse me, little kitties. Normal people like me have to get to class. Let's hope it's that obedient school. Assuming just this once that Becky... Why would TJ lock himself in his room? Indeed. Quite the conundrum. I say we investigate. TJ, confound it. Open up already. Cannot in good conscience do that. TJ, this little prank is getting very serious. If you don't go to school right now, you'll get a tardy. Yeah, and if I don't leave for work right now, my boss is going to give me a tardy. Come out soon, TJ, or you're grounded. That's okay with me. Oh, dear me. He's definitely going to be tardy. I better call the school. I've taken my stand. What happens next is in the hands of fate. The... Hello, TJ. Sorry about the banana. It was the softest thing in Mikey's lunch. What's going on? Oh, it's pretty simple, actually. I've stopped going to school. Stop going to school? You can't do that. He can't, can he? According to the adults in power, he can't. Well, I say school and turn it into a boring, crummy place. I guess now we'll find out which one of us is right. A lone student staging an act of civil disobedience against an entire board of education. What a revolutionary concept. What's a revolutionary concept? Yeah, guys, what's going on? TJ says he's never going back to school. Ever. He's staying right there in his room. Really? Whoa. Cool. Cool? What's cool? If something's cool, you totally have to tell us. TJ's locked up in his room. He says he's never going back to school. Ever. Scandalous! What's so scandalous? Ew. Spill it. Oh, all right. You sort of are a fellow kid and all. You see, TJ... <laughs> Detweiler's never coming back to school. Yeah? So what? I tried never coming back to school dozens of times. But he's doing it for us. TJ Detweiler staying home in protest. I must spread this news to the, to the playground. Everyone, TJ Detweiler staying home from school. Oh, he's not going to school. Who's your back? Who's your back? Big kid, no go to school. Yeah! Big kid, no go! We go give him support! Malcontents, it's time to learn! Today's math test will have 500 questions, all word problems. I hope you shifty punks brought plenty of number two pencils. What the? Where the blazes is everyone? Oh, good gracious! Where did all you children come from? We heard TJ wasn't going to school. Is it true? I got odds going three to one that it is. Well, yes, I'm afraid it is. He won't come out of his room. So it is true, eh? TJ's ditching school. My first big scoop as a fifth grade informant. Well, we are on it. All right, everyone, settle down. Let's have some order, please. Order? What are you talking about? My students have all gone AWOL. This is anarchy. Mine are gone, too. It's downright trippy. Are you telling me there are no students in the entire school? Yes, sir. We must find the children before something terrible happens. Yeah, like if the school board finds out, I'll lose my job. Where in tarnation are they? I know exactly where they are. Who knows that? That's right, it's me, Randall, bringing you the goods once again. You see, when I noticed all the kids running out of the schoolyard, my instincts told me something big was up. So Just I... tell me where the children are. They're at TJ's house. Detweiler. Why is it always Detweiler? Seems naughty TJ's refusing to come to school, and everyone else is there to support him. They say it's a revolution, and if I know my history, revolutions involve executions. Don't get carried away, boy. The best we can hope for is juvenile hall. That'll do. TJ! 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 No! Goodness, TJ. Your protest seems to have gathered momentum. But surely you can't sit in your room indefinitely. Hey, my comic books and I got my political cause. A right-thinking kid doesn't need any more than that. But what about food? When you eat, you shrink into a tiny skeleton. Not to worry, Maiko. I raided the pantry last night and stocked up. I to mix spaghetti noodles and tomato paste to last me for a good long time. But, TJ, what about... Don't I got my own bathroom. Jeez, TJ, you thought of everything. Yep, and so far, everything's going according to plan. So, what happened next? 
<gasps> what happens next is Prickly shows up. Look at all these kids. I haven't seen a crowd like this since Woodstock. What's your plan, sir? Shall I call the cops? No! No! We've got to keep this quiet. I'll talk to Detweiler myself. Should we watch Detweiler get in trouble from the car, Miss Finster? No, Randall. Let's savor this up close. Ooh, zesty. Excuse me, pardon me. Get it out of the- Ow. Well, if you don't want to get stepped on, stay in class. T.J. Detweiler, as your principal, I order you to come out of your room right now. With all due respect, sir. In school, you're not my principal anymore. Follow your orders. Come on, T.J. Because of you, nobody's going to school. And that's not my problem, sir. What do you want from me? Well, for starters, I'd like a nice, hot, tasty lunch in the cafeteria. Not just for me, but for every kid at school. I want the kickball field, basketball hoops, and old Rusty, too. And lockers! I understand skipping school is wrong. I know studying and learning are good for me. But the way I see it, none of the new changes help with any of that stuff. Just make school a crummy place to be. All I ask, sir, is that the school we love. And if this is what it takes to get it, then I'm willing to face the consequences. Uh, TJ, I already told you the changes are official Board of Ed policy. I can't them. Then I'm afraid I can't come down. Well, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. Ah, what's that? It's cops, sir. Woohoo, the fuzz. Oh, no, it's not the cops. It's worse. It's the Board of Education. Ellen, this is Truant Officer McDooley, Board of Education. Oh, why, did you hear her? We understand you have a situation. Oh, I'd hardly call it a situation. It's just a harmless boy who's locked himself in his bedroom. I have it completely under control. It seems he's still up there. Well, for now, who told you people about this anyway? We're the BOE. We're taking over, Principal Prickly. This case is now Board of Education jurisdiction. If you have a problem with that, I recommend you take it up with the school board members. They're right over there. The board members? Here? Now? Report, Officer McClellan. What seems to be the problem? Our intel was accurate, sir. It's a kid who won't go to school. I see. Ladies, gentlemen, I'm afraid it's every bit as serious as we feared. Go to school is a code white situation. Call it in. White. I repeat. Roger that. Code received. Please confirm. Will do. Over and out. Sir, we've got a code white. Very well. Yes. I will problem. I'm standing in front of the house where 10-year-old T.K. Dudwaller is refusing to go to school. According to our sources, the boy is upset about some new education policies. With me are the five members of the State Board of Education, along with Board Supervisor Milton Brown. Mr. Brown, what about these new school policies? Are they good for our students? Studies have shown that the policies are good for our children and good for the schools. The board and I support them unanimously. There you have it. As for young TK, neighbors say he was always a strange child, refused to go anywhere without his red baseball cap. Hey, TJ! TJ, you're on the news! Way to go, Teach! The people have heard you! Your long struggle is finally over! Yet, yeah, Mikey. But I've got a feeling the end has just begun. Oh, no! Not the helicopter! That could only mean one thing! Mr. White! The ultimate force of Board of Ed policy! Bring it on, Mr. White. Bring it on. Ah, Mr. White! How wonderful to see you! I, I trust I can be of help to you. You can get out of my way, Prickly. All irrelevant. You, you, come with me. Hello, and who are you? My name is Mr. White, ma'am. I'm with the Board of Education. If you don't mind, my associates and I would like a word with your son, Theodore. Oh, there's no need for that. I've called my husband. He'll be home in half an hour if traffic is good. That's just what I would expect a loving, brilliant parent such as yourself to say, Mrs. Detweiler. It is? And I completely agree with you. There is nothing more beneficial to a young man's character than healthy communication with his parents. The fondest memories are of sitting on my pappy's knee, exchanging information. Oh. 
That's wonderful. Yes, it is. But unfortunately, half an hour is simply too long to wait. DJ is setting a very unfortunate example for all those other children out there. Any moment now, his disobedience will become ingrained in their impressionable brains and spread to other children, friends, relatives, email buddies. Disobedience leads to madness. Madness is very bad for little children, wouldn't you say, Mrs. Detweiler? Why, yes, I guess it is. Then please let me help your child and all the children of the world. Education, that's what we do. Oh, well, all right. His room is upstairs on the left. Thank you. Brew me a pot of Darjeeling tea, if you will. I'm parched. Is it okay? Hello, Mr. White. Long time no see. T.J. Detwara. I imagine you're feeling quite full of yourself after defeating me on that whole wumps issue. Matter of beating you, sir. I'm just trying to do what's right, so you can forget about asking me to come out. Oh, I have no intention. You don't? I don't know, TJ. Principal Prickly already tried that. I'm going to allow you to stay in there just as long as you want. You are? Yes. Of course, please don't blame me if during your absence you find their lives becoming, oh, how should we say it, uh, unpleasant. What you talking about, White? Well, even if you don't go to school, TJ, I assume your friends still will. And I just happen to know that the school board is considering a school day, doubling the homework load, flavoring the nutrition paste with broccoli and liver. I've tried very hard to fight them on these issues, but if I can't even convince one child to leave his bedroom, who's going to take me seriously? That's a dirty trick, Mr. White! A dirty trick, TJ, when it's used for a greater good. Oh, then you win. I'll unbarricade my door and come out. Well, I wonder if my tea is ready. That was quicker than I... Okay. What in the... Dirty trick. Detweiler, where is he? The has flown. The magpie has flown. Damn, he probably climbed out the window. He's not out there. That's impossible. If he's not out there and he's not in here, the only other place he could be is the... Aha! There you are. Detweiler! I told you I'd leave my room. I'm moving my protest to the roof. Have it your way, boy. It's easy enough for me to get on the roof. Those helicopter men. Oh, yeah. Oops. <sighs> for principaling. Now I'll probably have to go to work on my brother Thurgood's lobster boat in Alaska. Help! Help! Help? Why should I help you, Detweiler? Thanks to you, I'm gonna lose my job while you just dangle from the roof. Ow! Dangle from the roof? Help! Hang on, TJ! I'm coming! Move it! Out of my way! Let me through! What's happening, Principal Prickly? Where is TJ? He's around the corner. I need a ladder, quick! Together. On three, I'll pull up on one hand while you pull up with your other. You got that? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Thanks, sir. TJ, are you out of your mind? I mean, locking yourself in your room is one thing, but you could have been killed up here. I know. It was a dumb thing to do. I don't know what got into me. This whole protest of yours has gotten way out of hand. You're going to be in a lot of trouble when this is over. But somebody had to do something to look out for us kids. I mean, normally, sir, I'd assume looking out for kids was part of your job. Uh, uh, well... That's okay. I understand. A grown-up's got to worry about making a living. You've got to buy cars and pants and houses. But I'm just a kid. I can't stand around and let bad stuff happen to people I care about. Because the only thing I've got to lose is my self-respect. Quickly! Good work. You've captured him. Bring him down here immediately, and I'll see that you get a promotion. No, sir. I cannot in good conscience do that. This is no time for games, Prickly. Bring the boy down now, or it will cost you your job. If keeping my job means going along with your lousy policies, then I don't want it anymore. I think I'd rather keep my self-respect, too. He's standing up to people he disagrees with? Risking his job? That's the most inspiring thing I've ever seen. I'm... I'm with him! What? what? To my ears what you, what are you talking about? The truth is, I hate the new policy. I just went along with it because you all like it. I didn't want to disagree and get fired. But I thought the plan was stupid. I mean, paving over the playground? Come on! I was just afraid to make waves. Whew. I am so relieved you guys feel the same way I do. Oh, this oh, new yeah, policy is ridiculous. Just a moment, people. 
You never liked the new policy. I never liked the new policy. Some so-called experts recommended it, and we were all too scared to voice our opposition? Shame on us. I hereby move that the new school policy is no longer in effect. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. School is back to normal. But, but you can't do that. That would mean that that, that child has beat me again. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it, Tad? We get so caught up in our grown-up world that we forget. The little guy really can make a difference. Pool party at my place? Yes! yes! Yeah! All right! <laughs> Well done, PJ. Sir, I couldn't have done it without you.